Well, hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. Today, I've got a hot topic for you. Yep, that's why I'm wearing my red shirt. It's uh, a warning that this is gonna get a little activating today. We're gonna talk about why do men look at other women? I'm sure this is a question you want answered and we're gonna answer it today. And hey, before we get started, make sure you kick out those big three before we get rolling. Number one, like and subscribe to the video so you make sure you get these things every week. Make sure you turn on the notifications because you wanna know when the next one comes out. And of course, leave me your questions, your comments, all that stuff in the comments below. So I was out at dinner the other night and I couldn't help but overhear a group of women talking about why do men look at other women? And by other women, they meant why do their boyfriends look at other women? I mean, imagine you're with your boyfriend or your husband in your favorite restaurant, you're having a great time together. Out of nowhere, some hot chick walks by your table and then you look on as the man you love turns his head, does that swivel thing, right? Looks her up and down and his eyes linger just a little too long, maybe on the top package or the backside package. Now suddenly there's a surge of emotion in you. You feel jealousy, anger, pain, insecurity. A whole rush of questions runs through your head. Does he want her? Does he think she's more beautiful than me? More desirable? Is he attracted to me anymore? The reality is that all men visually appreciate women. Now I'm gonna explain appreciate in a little bit, but all men do this. Not just your guy, not just players, and not just cheaters. Every guy looks at women. Yes, even gay guys do. In fact, at the, even at the very beginning of your relationship, when you thought it was all exclusive romance for each other, he was still checking out other women, okay? He was just glancing at them. It's a simple fact of how men function. Now this topic comes up a lot in the emails that I get, as well as conversations I have with friends. It got so popular and this became such a big question that I just sat down and researched it and finally created uh, what I consider the be all end all answer for you guys on this particular question. But I'm gonna give you a quick rant warning. This is a topic that comes up very frequently for me. It's one of the biggest points of contention in some people's relationships. I also have a lot to say about it as I understand both sides of the equation, both men's and women's point of view. So just be aware that I might rant a little bit as I go along here through these reasons why, as well as explaining why you really don't have to be worried. And so with that, we ask, why do men look at other women and what do we do about it? Well, I need to start out by explaining a few things about what you don't know about why men check out other women. And it's really important because you may have some assumptions that are faulty here, and I wanna clear these up first. What you don't know, number one, men are not trying to disrespect you. There's a very common misperception that people have, which is that somebody's, when somebody does something that you feel is disrespectful, they were doing it on purpose. When it comes to why men look at other women, I wanna to explain to you that what you think is disrespect is actually only your interpretation of his actions. Now, what I mean by that is it's not that it's your fault. I'm saying that men almost never intentionally set out to disrespect you or hurt you. No more than you would intentionally try to be needy or clingy with him, right? In fact, most people never even consider if what they're doing is disrespectful. It's simply not the first thing that you check in with in your mind before you do something. Am I being disrespectful? In the end, we're all just trying to get our own needs met. Unfortunately, getting our own needs met is everybody's first priority, which makes us a little bit selfish. Yes, it's human nature. We start out with our own needs and then we move on to yours. So is it rude for men to look at other women? Well, if yeah, if he can't get control over his scanning behavior when he's with you, I'd say that it can quickly become rude. He should be able to rein it in a bit though. Let me ask you this. Have you ever told him that it hurts your feelings? If you communicate how it makes you feel when his eyes wander, there's a good chance he will focus more attention on not being so darn obvious about it and not doing it so much. And if he doesn't do that for you, well, that's a sign to you. It's a sign of how well he's gonna be respecting you and your relationship and eventually your marriage. There are some guys that just can't rise above their sexual desires. And you know what? There are also a lot of women who know this and they use it. Now I'm gonna talk about this more in a little bit. What you don't know, number two, men are compelled to check women out visually. It's got very little to do with choice with a guy. He has a part of his sexual orientation that makes it mandatory that he looks at other women. Yes, even women he's not dating. You have self-control, sure, of course, because you're not wired this way. Women are different. In the same way that he asks you, why can't you not cry when we're having an argument or a heavy conversation, hello, 
Could you do that? Could you hold back your emotions? It would be hard for you, I'm guessing. And for some women, darn near impossible. It's tough to not get emotional during emotional conversations, right? Now, you're saying, I can hear you right now, Carlos, it's completely different. We're comparing apples and oranges here. He's checking out other women, and, and his doing that is nothing at all like my need to express my emotions. Well, yes, and mostly no. It's not the same situation, but it is coming from the same place in his brain. Let me explain. When you cry, it's a natural release of psychological and emotional tension in you. It not only feels good, it's a, very, it's a regulating mechanism, it's automatic, and you really can't control it. When a guy checks out a woman, it's a natural process of his sexual selection psychology. It's automatic, and he can't control it. A man's mind is wired to inspect the goods, if you will. He will check out all the physical signs that indicate a possible mate. His eyes have to do this. It's just one of those things that's automatic. I could go into the evolutionary science behind this, but let's just agree that there are a lot of caveman circuits still rattling around in that brain of his. The truth is that a man's brain gets a pleasure shot of dopamine when he looks at and is rewarded with the image of a beautiful woman. Dopamine releases a, well, it creates a chemical high in our brains that gives basically a little shot of pleasure to us when we do something rewarding. And face it, our world is bombarding us with visual feasts of women in every kind of sexually suggestive pose and situation and states of undress that you can imagine on every imaginable magazine and every billboard. Yeah, you may have seen this from time to time, am I right? Guys are flooded with this every day. So are women. And most of the advertisements with sexy women on them, they're advertising to other women. Yes, men are very easily stimulated by visuals. This is probably obvious from his interest in everything from strip clubs to football games to a sexy car. Men are driven by what we see. And in case you haven't noticed or you weren't aware, you are also hardwired to see these other women as threats. You notice them at the same time he does, but for different reasons. And then your inner relationship circuits start to test the strength of the relationship by looking at how you feel about that. You, my dear, are not driven by sight, but instead by what you feel. All right, so what you don't know, number three, sometimes this whole situation is a huge signal about your unresolved insecurities. Yeah, I hate to bring this up in the middle of this juicy lump of relationship advice, this great little video, but when we are not secure in ourselves and our relationship, we are we're easily triggered to feelings of jealousy, especially when you're wondering why men look at other women in front of you. A lot of women admit that much of their response to her man looking at other women is because she's really look, feeling insecure and pushed to the defensive. If you're not feeling secure, every woman out there is gonna feel like a threat to you and your relationship. Not only that, but if he's looking at some other gal's caboose while your relationship is on shaky ground, you're gonna react. And you know what? I don't blame you. You could be feeling insecure for any number of reasons at that moment. You just had a fight. You didn't have, uh, didn't have the time to put your makeup on the way you wanted and make yourself look really good. Or your relationship has already been shaky for a few weeks and now you feel a little bit anxious. Or you know this woman has looks or a body that very few women could compete with. There's a ton of reasons. And then notice what comes up in your emotions when you see him checking out another woman. Are you feeling indignant, angry, jealous, envy? Maybe a mixture of all of those. This is where most people jump straight from stimulus to response. They react right off the bat. They don't realize that they've got a choice. Well, at least humans do. This choice is the space between stimulus and response. It's called pause. Press pause before you give yourself that reaction that you feel instinctively that you wanna do, like get mad or yell or bark at him or even just get sad. You have to think about what you're feeling and if you might be responding from old patterns and wounds. Give yourself a pause to not react from those old habits. Oh, and what you might know, women often use and abuse this kind of behavior to get attention from guys. A lot of women know darn well how hard it is for men to not look when a voluptuous, sexy woman passes by. She knows it and she works it. Why do you think they make dresses the way they do? She wears those short dresses. She plunges her neckline to her navel so he gets so much side boob, she might as well be topless. She works those hips so hard you wanna scream, hey, how about some fries with that shake, lady? And the real truth is you are probably checking her out first, right? Your threat detection mechanism kicks in and you know in seconds when a woman uh, in a crowd could be a sexual threat to you. Yes, she may even secretly get off on starting couples arguing. It gives her power. 
After all, it's an empty way to get validation, but you know what? Some women do it that way. Why do men look at other women? Men love beauty. Women love beauty too, that's why you look at them. Guys just love to look at women. Have you ever wondered why there are so many magazines with women in them and on them and so few with men? It's because women are adored by all eyes as creatures of beauty. Men simply don't have that kind of visual allure, unless it's a more athletic viewpoint, you know, showing off our muscles and strength. It's natural for men to look at women. What's off-putting is how long some of these guys keep it up. Am I right or am I right? Yes, men adore the shape of the female body, and most women do too. In study after study of men and women, researchers find that women check out other women at least as much as men do. Often for different reasons, however. Women are assessing her in terms of threat and a whole other host of indicators. So what does it mean when he looks at another woman? Well, I can tell you this for sure. It does not mean he'd cheat on you the second you turn your back on him. Men simply have fleeting sexual desires and daydreams all the time. And if there's a real live woman there to spark his imagination in some of those daydreams, well, yeah, we're going to indulge in it. In the end, you want a guy who can occasionally check out other women and not spend 30 minutes doing it. The fact is that it's going to happen. He will check her out. So don't resist it. As the saying goes, what you resist persists. Blocking him from seeing other women is going to be interpreted as cutting off his freedom. Men don't respond well to that. You might have experienced that. Plus, he'll interpret that as you being insecure. The best thing you can do is to accept the fact that this is a fact of life for men. In fact, a lot of guys get a little sick and tired of their own behavior too. It becomes a little bit like, oh God, I can't stop it. If he's oblivious and tends to be too obvious with his staring, tell him. Make sure you explain to him what it does and how it makes you feel. But don't stop there. Tell him exactly what emotions it brings up and why. Because this is something most women can't do and that's why they only resort to getting angry with him. It should be obvious by now, but we all, men and women, eventually grow a bit jaded and lazy about the relationship we're in. It happens, and we need to be reminded that we have to step up and work on the things we might have neglected. Ultimately, you feel hurt when you think that he's giving his attention and interest to another woman. So ask yourself, what does it mean to you? The most important thing about this situation is what it means to you, and that's why you need to take your time and really figure out what it means for you when men look at other women in front of you. Most women react on impulse, like I talked about. It, they get angry instantly. They never stop to really look at and drill down into the feelings. You have to reach into yourself and see what it is that's triggering you. The male sex drive is built on physical attraction. His relationship drive, though, is built on connection. Always remember, you have something the woman he's looking at will not have and that's called history. Your relationship with him is what will ultimately make a man choose you over any fleeting visual that he gets of a woman in a short dress. She doesn't have your history with him. She doesn't have your connection. She doesn't have the bond of love that you share with him. A man values a relationship if the relationship is healthy and whole. Men are not completely ruled by their sexual desires as movies and TV and magazines and books and everything in the media wants you to believe. He's not a brainless puppet or fool. He's a big boy. He can make his own decisions and he can choose. So just remember, you have the history with him. Other women don't. They're just brief entertainment that walks by him from time to time. He's simply appreciating beauty. These are things that are often overlooked by women when her man is checking out another woman. You've got the home team advantage. What's often missing in you is knowing that he still looks at you the way he looks at other women. And that is ultimately what throws you into a whirlwind of insecurity. You're wondering, is he still interested in you? You're wondering if he's growing tired, if he's ready for a change. You might even wonder if this is the beginning of the end. Well, let me tell you something. This is something you can control if you want to. There are over 50 million married men in the U.S. That should prove to you that men do get married. They get into long-term relationships. And there's another 50 million more guys who are not married. And you've got a bigger pond to fish in than you might have thought. So what are you going to do about it? The best thing you can do is to learn how to control your man's attention. You can control that. You can know exactly how to make him look at you instead of other women. The truth is that men can be triggered to feel that same dopamine rush that shot that I told you about earlier. Instead of getting that rush when he sees other women, he's only going to get it when he sees you. This is called the Cupid effect and most women don't know what it is or how it works even though it's been used for hundreds of thousands of years to basically hook men into wanting long-term committed relationships and they're glad for it. You want to learn how it works? Go to the link you see below. Go to datingadviceguru.com forward slash 
Cupid Effect. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash Cupid Effect. Go watch that free presentation right now. It doesn't take long. Open up a new tab. Do it now. And before parting is such sweet sorrow, I have to remind you again, please like and subscribe to the video so you keep getting them. Turn on notifications so you know when the next new one comes out. And of course, be sure to leave me your questions and comments in the comments below. I look at those and I do check them out to figure out what I'm gonna do in the next video on. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo, always here, always there for you, giving you this dating and relationship stuff. As always, live and love with passion.